What's up YouTube, Sir Hunts Reviews, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some Game of Thrones Season 6 news, an interview with Davos, and where the fuck is my shirt? Goodbye. Sorry about that, so yeah, in this interview with Davos, he talks about uh, how next season, him and Melisandre being two people that obviously hate each other, how they're forced to deal with something because they're in the ultimate same boat, which is they both lost Stannis. They both lost the reason for them even being on the show. So that being said, he said they're forced to kind of work together and uh, towards a similar goal they share. Um, and then he also went and touched more on his character about how Davos isn't exactly the leader and Jon Snow shows all the qualities of being a fellow traveler um, a seasoned veteran, if you will, like basically just somebody with a shit ton of leadership qualities. Davos, naturally, not being a leader himself, will gravitate towards John. So, why, my whole thing is, why the fuck, I mean, we all know he's coming back, come on. Two thumbs up for Jon Snow coming back, but yeah. Um, my whole thing is, is like, yeah, he's just, he realized the HBO is like, look, you guys can tease a little bit more with season six, they already know he's coming back, we kind of fucked up that whole boat. Why would he focus on... Basically saying like him gravitating towards Jon Snow and leading us to believe that he's going to be working with Melisandre towards a similar goal. So it just doesn't make sense if Jon Snow isn't coming back. A little bit about that video that I made last night. It was late as shit. Um, I've got a lot of shit on my plate. I work eight hours a day. You know, I'm making these videos. And the more and more that I make, the more I try to pay attention to detail and shit like that. So it takes me a lot longer than it used to. Like back when I first started doing this a month ago, I could whip out a video in like 20 minutes because i just did one straight shot you know what i mean but now i try to add in a little bit of humor and then i go back and do a lot of retakes and shit but anyway in that video just to summarize it all together i was basically saying that history repeats itself they put that um basically the dance of dragons the feature it on the dvd for a reason and my reason being is i think that viserion and Rhaegal, one of them could either get killed maybe they get injured and we're led to believe they get killed I don't know, I'm just saying, history repeats itself, and Martin probably has some shit planned for Danny. She's one person, she doesn't need three dragons. And a little bit of other news, a little bit of another tinfoil theory, uh, Melisandre, the actress Kreese Van Outen, she just announced that she's pregnant. She's expecting a baby with a fellow actor, Guy Pierce. he's this Australian guy, he's been in a few movies, um, but yeah, anyway, um, with that being said, Game of Thrones season 7 starts filming, midsummer, and... All I can say is with the announcement, I'm sure she's been pregnant for a few months, and like when you get pregnant as a couple, you don't really want to make the announcement until the you're like, I think it's like four months along, so that way you know that there's less likely of something to go wrong, because you can miscarry. I'm not a woman, so don't quote me literally, but yeah, anyway, you want to wait a little bit of time before you make the announcement, so she's obviously pregnant, and by that time, she'll definitely be showing. So, with that being said, here comes the theory. What if... Everything that we've thought about in our predictions and everything, everything's right. Jon Snow's back, and, you know, he's not down for that black magic shit like Stannis was. What if he ends up somehow sleeping with Melisandre, which could totally happen, she's hot as fuck, and then they work that into their script where she has sex with Jon, and then she makes a shadow baby to get rid of Ramsay because Ramsay escaped the Battle of the Six Armies. Short and sweet, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click like, then you click subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat?